definitely going to be an interesting one here as we get the prediction underway. Uh, going to be a pretty high level uh, division here. Division three, lots of big names here. Andrew, uh, one of the well, Andrew and Josh, I suppose, are the uh, the old guard, so to speak, from uh, very strong comp competitions in SRC before space as well. And then um, you kind of have the new guard that's getting pretty hyped with uh, with Luke, Rob, and and Dylan uh, all getting some uh, pretty high praise from different players around the XRC Sim community, and uh, it's going to be interesting to see who uh, comes out on top today. Dar, who do you think is the favorite to uh, to be promoted here out of uh, Division Three? Normally, I would uh, put Josh up there, but I'm not sure Josh has had as much experience recently as he was not in the latest tournament. But like, say, someone like Luke was. But I would consider most of this division to be even. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to this. This is going to be uh, some really, uh, really good matches. Absolutely. All right, let's get this one underway. Prediction locked. And off we go. Autonomous period. It's going to be interesting to see what Luke can do. Known for defense, but has been recently transitioning their game into an offensive strategy. So they wait for bounce backs. It is going to be the Red Alliance preliminary with the lead. And yeah, 44. Pretty solid autonomous here from the Red Alliance. Out to a good start. Our uh, top three seeds uh, putting on some pressure early on. Got to say, it's uh, definitely a big change of pace here from what we saw in 2v2s and, and being at uh, Div 8. There's a lot more power cycles happening all at the same time. Everybody trying to get those shots off as quickly as possible. Also, everybody playing FRC shooter, so no... Uh, diversity here in terms of the robot selection. But I'm sure we'll see plenty of diversity with the robot play and their strategies. And whoa! Oh. Big launch there from uh, Dylan. He's going to have to reset, but he resets on top of space. Space clears out of the way, and Blue Line's able to sort themselves out. Not sure what happened there, but uh, could have been a outtake, uh, not an outtake, whatever the logo thing is. Like Interaction. Logo, yep. yep. Three ball cycle, only two making it for space. Still trying to narrow this gap, 16 points. And just under a minute to play. So everybody is scrambling to get their shots off. Lots of good shooting from both sides. Andrew, three balls. Josh, two balls. And there is a launch pad foul on to Dylan. As Red's really starting to run away with this one. Climbs. Got to be in the picture now as we come to our final 30 seconds. We see an attempt to get a free climb, and there it is. Luke is going to get a free climb off of that. That's pretty big for the Blue Alliance to get back into this match. Now, we still do need to see Space and Dylan get their, uh, their climbs off to make the difference as we come into the final 16 seconds. But you got to say this is really advantageous for Luke as he can shoot till the very end. No worries about climbs. Rob also going to do the same for the Red Alliance, but he might want to try and get one more cycle in, and it is going to be close, but not close enough as we hit a over 200 match on both uh, of the alliances in match number one. Very, very strong play here from Division 3 to start us off. Yeah, Josh trying to prove me wrong with that 87 starting off really hot. As opposed to the next best score being 76 from Andrew. I just want to point out that uh, that both those alliances outscored match one, division one. Uh, so we are seeing really high scoring here. Perhaps yeah, less defense, a, but... Uh, yeah, division one had a lot more defensive play, and division three seems to have more uh, a lot more offensive play. Definitely, definitely for sure, but there's definitely some... Uh, some strong players here, and uh, they're saying that, hey, you know, Division One, look out. One of us is going to be coming up to D2, and 
then maybe D1. So we're going to see what they can do. But yeah, early on the board, Josh, Andrew, and Rob, top three seeds, winning that one. Uh, supposedly, I guess, uh, all cor according to plan, what was expected. But uh, we'll get another prediction up there. This time we're going to see Space and Rob swap. So thoughts on how this is going to change some, th some things here, Dar? Well, if we look at the... If we look at the scores, Rob has the lowest score of everyone, but Rob also did not climb. Um, Rob seems to be the community favorite for ranking up into Division 2. Many think he is Division 1 material. So we'll see if uh, he is able to prove it by being on the, uh, air quotes, weaker of the two alliances. Base is no slouch either. So being with uh, Josh and Andrew uh, will make it tough for Rob to prove it either way. Yep, absolutely. And you got to say Red Alliance kind of demolished that last match as well. Uh, the free climb making it a bit closer, but, you know, Blue Alliance is going to have some work cut out for them if they want to uh, get ready. But here we go. Match number two. Lots of scoring coming, but two blue misses. That could be critical for this Red Alliance to capitalize on. Look at all those cargo. Rob going to try and pick up two. Fires them off very quickly. Not quite enough in time to count for that uh, extra bonus, though, in auto. But this one looking a lot closer. Luke is definitely going for the more defensive plays here with a score of eight, and he looks to be sticking to Josh like glue. Yep, absolutely. He is weaving in a couple, uh, couple cycles and picking up, however. It is a close one. 76 to 66. Red starting to pull a little bit of a gap. Current match MVP is still Rob, though, 34 points. Josh, in the middle of a robot sandwich, gets a block off onto Luke. He misses one shot, and a couple misses as well from Dylan. Going to cause issues for this Blue Alliance, but Blue is bringing it back a little bit. Red responds quite promptly, though, and says, yeah, let's keep this at a 10-point gap. Dylan getting caught up with Josh, 49-10. Trying to slow down. We see a whole bunch of cargo over in the corner. Luke is just going to pick up two of them. Only makes one of the shots, however, due to that defense from the uh, Red Alliance. Space drops another shot up high. 40 seconds left. Still relatively close. Going to be close with the climbs. Could make the difference. Definitely a lot more defensive this match than the previous one. It's both alliances maybe realizing, hey, you know, we want to be in this a little bit closer by playing a little bit more defense. Rob doing a quick turnaround, looking for those cargo to do those last second shots. Nine seconds left. Will he go for a climb at all or will he just shoot to the end? Looks like he's just going to shoot to the end. Two seconds left. But that is going to be a Red Alliance victory. And securing it 210 to 180. Very strong performance from the Red Alliance yet again. Josh, once again, the MVP. Uh, with Rob five points behind him, despite Rob not climbing. Yep. Rob putting on big, big points, but it's not quite enough in this case. Luke, unfortunately, the the lowest scoring one, you know, playing a little no, bit of defense, no. but not having the desired impact. Let's 
getting the uh, quick switch between players as we're now going to see Dylan in Red Alliance. Face back on blue. Or, er, yes. Predictions back up. So far, Dylan and Luke, the uh, two players at 0 and 2, looking to change that up here as they face off against each other. And looks like we are good to go. All right, match number three. Blue Alliance still uh, looking for their first win. Josh, 49-10, your number one seed. Looking to continue to become to be undefeated. And keep in mind, if, uh, if a D3 player goes undefeated, which, uh, you know, maybe could happen, I suppose, uh, they would jump directly into Division 1. So the uh, Division 1 is not so far away for a lot of these players. That would uh, cause Waxton to demote, actually. Yep, absolutely. That would, be very interesting. that would be crazy. So far, Red Alliance once again with the lead. Dylan missing a couple shots. One does go local, however. And uh, Blue Alliance has narrowed the gap a little bit here. Now just one point separating these alliances. We see a lot of defense. Josh able to make a shot, but Dylan... Missed a bunch of shots as well for the Red Alliance. Going to bring Blue back into this a little bit. Andrew and Josh working tag team really well. Very evenly matched alliances as we come to expect here in ladder. Dylan, a unfortunate bump and causing him to miss. Makes the second shot though. And it's still only about a five-point match. 46 seconds left to go. Got to put up as many cargo as we can here. Everyone scrambling for some room. 35 seconds left. Got to be careful about the climbs. Dylan has to shoot a extra cargo due to the possession la limit. Josh Climbery in the way, blocking his shot. Adjusts uh, carefully, though. Misses his shots, and Blue has actually gained the lead now. It's going to come down to climbs here. Dylan, two-ball cycle coming in. Rob's going to shoot till the end again. Luke is stuck on the high bar. So oh, if Josh yeah, he might can... fall off. And Rob jumping in, disrupting Luke, the Blue climbs. Luke we still have a traversal. Falling. And that is going to be it. Red Alliance remains undefeated here. 191 to 159. Definitely within Blue's grasp there, but uh, Red too strong this time around. And we are going to see the final swap for the Josh and Andrew pair, currently undefeated, as you can see at the top of the leaderboard, 3-0. and Luke only un or only uh player with no wins yet but is now going to find themselves on to josh and andrew's team as we throw up the predictions and so of this undefeated pair between josh and andrew you got to say Josh has been the probable dominant one here. As you see, just the contribution. Josh, 83 points that last match. Yeah, all consistently, three points. Josh has been uh, Consistently ahead. hitting sometimes, really high scores, really mm -hmm. high contributions. So Sometimes more than others. Like this one, he's absolutely dominant. And in others, Andrew has been uh, right on his uh, heels. But Yep, absolutely. We, we'll see in... This match is going to be more interesting on account of Luke might end up being more defensive. So we'll see uh, which which of them uh, 
Josh or Andrew potentially if if Luke does that gets more score. Yeah, for sure. All right, we're getting this match underway. Predictions locked, very red favored. Guess not that surprising considering that they've been undefeated so far. Luke, oh, Red Alliance actually a bit of communication issues here, trying to get those shots off in autonomous. And looks like some of them aren't going. Oh, no, they do just barely. But uh, Red is actually ahead. Almost a foul there, but there is a foul on Dylan. Launchpad getting him caught out. And big bumps onto Andrew, missing all of his shots. Some great defensive work from the Blue Alliance as they try and get their first win on the board. And some good bumps onto Josh, causing some disruption. Only a two-point match. Three-ball cycle coming in from Dylan. Only two make it, though. That's going to propel the blue lines ahead. As Red tries to respond, Josh missing one. And there is a logo counted for the Red Alliance. Not sure who shot it. Good bump there from Luke onto Rob, causing Rob to miss two shots. Josh unloading again. Very close match here. Basically neck and neck. Can't separate these alliances by by much. And trying to bait out that foul is Andrew not able to catch space. Dylan going to unload a bunch. Luke trying to gather some more power cells from the hangar. Rob trying to play some defense. Doing some good, uh, good awareness of where the opponents are. And Red starting to extend a very small lead here. Just a little bit more efficient in their cycling. Blue is going to bring it back, though. Big misses from Andrew. Blue going into the lead. It's been a back-and-forth match the entire time as we come to the final 30 seconds. Andrew potentially in a precarious yeah, position. Yeah, he's in a problem. He's going to reset just to play it safe because of the bumper grab. But it is... Very neck and neck here. The Red Alliance is down a little bit on cargo, so they need to score a little bit more or out-climb as Josh and Andrew go for the climb. A little bit of a team bump. Blue Alliance looking to secure it. Space is up. Rob, only two seconds left, but that is, and a fall from Andrew, going to seal the deal. Unfortunately, not... Uh, not going to be a win here for the Red Alliance, it looks like. We no longer have any undefeated players in this division. Yep, absolutely. And uh, Luke still sitting at 0-4. and four. Not a good start for Luke. But it is going to be the Blue Alliance taking that one. So good job, Believers. Good chunk of power cells going to someone who had the faith in the Blue Alliance. Rob, Space Turtle, and Dylan. Get the next prediction up here. As we're now going to see Rob and Josh go on a bit of a spree here for three matches. This particular match with uh, Space Turtle. Against Andrew, Dylan, and Luke. Of course, Josh and Andrew at the top of the leaderboard currently. That is subject to change now that they are against each other for the remainder of the match. Yep, absolutely. We're going to have to battle it out after a pretty successful first four matches, got to say. Nearly going undefeated. All right, looks like everybody is in and ready to go. 1.2K to one power cell. 
no believers in uh, blue. So we'll see what happens. A couple more seconds to get in on this as we get this started. And here we go. Power cells coming in. Not power cells. What the heck? Cargo coming in. Tied. But uh, red gets a little more. Blue gets a little more. Who's going to come out in top? It is going to be Blue Alliance. Uh, 48 or 52. Don't know which, but either way, very good autos. Yep, very strong. And here we go. Red Alliance has some work to do. Some good shooting from both. Josh getting hard defended from Luke. See, Luke just at 12 points. He might just be a full defense uh, here. Rob, unfortunately, getting a, a possession limit here. Yeah, it looks like Luke is going full defense. He said, I'm 0-4. and four. I got to change something up. And this might be the adaptation that he needed as Josh once again missing a shot. And uh, Luke's alliance in the blue looking strong so far. Red trying to recover here as much as they can. Luke still just playing full defense on whoever he can find. That current target happens to be Rob 533. You're going to switch out with Dylan. Trying to disrupt the shooting more. Rob's able to get it off, though. But the gap is a pretty much maintained around a 17-point lead for the Blue Alliance. It's Those more than a traversal. In their boots against the guy who voted one power cell in the <laughs> yeah. favor of Blue. Yeah. yeah, there were a couple more blue, blue believers at the very end. Oh, that's a launch pad foul on Josh. Not going to do Red Alliance any favors, and you got to say it's looking really strong here for Blue Alliance. They just need to close it out. And there's a possession foul on to Dylan. That's going to help out the Red Alliance a little bit. Sub well, 10 points now. Yep. Blue trying to get up. Josh trying to get some more shots. Three ball cycle. And five seconds to go. It's going to be close. Climbs coming in, two point tie, red ahead, and red closes it out at the end. Did just Josh get that low climb? Oh my goodness, I'm not sure. We're gonna have to see the uh, the breakdown. But man, two points in the last like half a second, just He's ahead. Not... He did. But red got one traversal and a high, as opposed to blues two highs. Yep, it was enough. But Red's going to take that one. And uh, unfortunately, Luke is still winless. Uh, halfway through, he is in the danger zone. He's got to get some W's on the board real soon. And it is clearly not because he's playing badly. Because he allowed uh, Blue uh, to keep that very close. The climbs just did not help. And Red managed to score a lot in that last uh, 20 seconds of the map. Yep, exactly. Prediction back up. Uh, Josh and Rob once again together, this time with Dylan. You got to say, pretty much everything went perfectly for Blue until that end game. Yeah, that, that auto is rather insane. And they were able to keep the momentum throughout. But red, just look at red's telly store as opposed to blues. Yeah. Able to bring it back, especially at the end. Josh did some uh, great shooting at the end there to bring it, bring it closer. All right. We're halfway through match number six on the dock. Last couple seconds to get your power cell predictions in as we start our autonomous period. Lots of cargo going in for both sides. A missed bounce back from space. 
And Red is looking semi-commanding here in their autonomous lead. Making up for the mistakes of the last match. But it is going to be pretty close. Scrambling for the cargo. Unloading three ball cycles is space. Six point lead. Red really struggling to find cargo. Bit of a traffic jam. All three red robots in the same side of the field. Blue Alliance are able to spread it out much better. And you can see the gap down to just two points. Those two points can make the difference. So we see a three ball cycle coming in from Dylan. Doing quite well there. Luke trying to get his first win. Blue starting to get a little bit of an edge as red comes back and now we're tied up. Just going real back and forth between these two alliances. Very evenly matched. Good bump there onto Josh, causing him to miss a shot. But blue still with a bit of the cycle advantage. When red does come back, though, they do kind of tie it up. But now maybe a bit of an edge here for the red alliance, or for the blue alliance. So we come into our final 30 seconds. 30 seconds ago, got to be careful about those free climbs. It can be so devastating in the game of rapid react, of course. But blue looking sort of comfortable. Red is going to need to push their climbs pretty late here. This blue is looking to secure them in. And here goes red. Ten seconds left. Josh, not a lot of time. Seven seconds. He's got to make a lightning fast quick climb. Rob with a mistake, but he's going to make it up into the high. And it is not going to be enough for the red alliance. 165 to 175 is going to be the score. Blue Alliance able to come back after that 12-point uh, gap in Autonomous. 8-point gap, but yes. Uh, as, especially with Blue's traverse and uh, traverse and high as opposed to Red's double high. Yep, and Luke getting his first uh, win on the board. So he's staying alive. <laughs> he has <W>. chances. <laughs> Just needs to uh, get that win rate up. Yep, absolutely. And Josh and Andrew uh, and Space now tied. Yep, all four and two. Very evenly matched up. Andrew with the tiebreaker by only eight points. Prediction back up, red versus blue. We got the last match of Josh and Rob together. After this match, they'll just be against each other. And Luke. Trying to get another win on the board, this time on the Red Alliance. Seeing if he can get out of that bottom spot. All right, here we go. Last couple seconds to get predictions in. Somebody just barely squeezed in with 11 power cells on the Blue Alliance. Somebody believing. Red Alliance, definitely the heavy uh, crowd favorite. And the heavy statistical favorite. Yeah, possibly. I mean... Uh, Blue Alliance does have two of the three players that are tied for first, right? So, a good point, yeah. But we shall see. It is close. Red Alliance with a slight edge. Rob trying to make a shot. Misses one. Makes the other two. Three ball cycle coming in here from Josh and gets bumped by Space. Great awareness from the Blue Alliance and Space to make sure that there's no easy three ball cycles for the Red Alliance to kind of get some sort of lead or come back into this match. It is going to be close. Neck and neck. Basically just 
two to four points separating these two alliances. Dylan, one shot up. Gonna eject that red alliance ball into the wall. But still a bit of an edge for the red alliance. Red alliance playing some defense and starting to gain a lead now with one minute to play. Dylan, two shots. Collides with Andrew's ball mid-air, and uh, two of them miss. Not what you want to see if you're a Blue Alliance fan here. Red Alliance looking strong, but just as I say that, there's a launch pad foul on Josh. It's going to bring Blue Alliance a little bit closer into this match. Still a fairly comfortable Red Alliance lead here. To come to 35 seconds left in the match. Andrew just getting absolutely uh, bumped all over the place by the Red Alliance. Rob trying to find a ball. He's got one in his hopper. Going to launch that one up and go find another. 20 seconds to go. Nobody going for the climbs yet. Okay, here we go. Andrew and Space, the first ones to react. Red's going to push it even more. You might say that that might be a risky thing, given the fact that they are up by a significant amount. Basically, the only way they lose is from the missed climbs. And speaking of missed climbs, Rob and Josh fall off. But there's a fall on the Blue Alliance at the same time. And Red Alliance clutches this one out somehow. Despite, I think, I don't know if they even got any climbs. I, I'm not sure either. Let's find out. Yep, so one mid for the uh, Red Alliance. An absolutely dominant teleop score saved them. Yeah, dang. Blue had a chance to be up there, but uh, Miss Climbs, they hurt. So that is going to put Luke up into 2 and 5. Still in the bottom, though, due to tiebreaker. But at least he's breathing a bit of a sigh of relief. Josh, the uh, now sole... Uh, leader in terms of win rate. We now have a triple tie for a second. Yeah, absolutely. And look at this tiebreaker between Josh and Andrew, number one and number two seeds, one point separating them. Of course, one win also, but uh, it could come down to the end here for who gets that promotion spot into Division 2. So we're going to see a big change up once again. Now we're going to see Josh and Space together for two matches uh, alongside Dylan. And then it's going to be Andrew, Rob, and Luke versus again, each other. So an important match on both ends of the table right now. Josh versus Andrew and Dylan versus Luke. The two... Uh, leaders in i guess promotion or i don't know followers i guess in in demotion i don't know what you would say <laughs> uh do we get to invent the term whatever we say goes of course all right looks like we're just missing one red robot it looks like they're trying to change starting yeah, positions. Chat, pretty Red Alliance favorite here for this match. Not believing in Luke, Rob, and Andrew. All right, looks like everybody's good to go. Taylu believes in blue. And we'll see who the scoreboard believes in, because ultimately, that's who matters. Let's see a couple bounce backs. Luke going to pick up one. Nothing for Dylan. He's going to try and rush these two cargo. Makes a shot, but... Not able to fall, and Blue Alliance is ahead here as uh, we head into Artilia period. Lots of shots coming for both sides. 
battle between Andrew and Josh for the number one seed. They've been back and forth at the top of the leaderboard the entire night. But a couple challengers could surpass them, given the right circumstances. Good bump onto space by Luke. And that's putting Blue up by a little bit. Another big bump onto space and two misses from, uh, from space by Rob. Space trying to return the favor, but Rob is wise to that. Almost going to get fouled here. Dylan trying to get it, but there is going to be a reset from Rob. And a pin foul on Luke. Josh is still going to get those shots off. Blue still with the edge. One minute to play. It is a close one. Andrew, two shots up. Josh matching immediately. Rob trying to play some defense, but space... Not affected. So the right angle of approach for those defensive plays. Otherwise, pushing from the back isn't going to do too much when you're lined up right up against the uh, fender of the hub. Couple misses for Blue Alliance. Luke playing some heavy defense on Dylan. Trying to get Dylan to, for, to get the free traversal for him, but Dylan does manage to escape. Yep. Very narrow match here. We're going to see climbs coming in as Andrew and Rob make their way over. Josh and Space going to be the designated climbers for Red Alliance. Shootout for Luke and Dylan. We're going to see another climb attempt here for Dylan. A little bit sketchy. One second to left, and it's... Oh, my goodness! It was going to be a tie, but something happened at the very end. Four points coming in for the Blue Alliance, and that is going to get them the win. I think Luke deciding to score there and Dylan missing the climb at the end is what clinched Blue. Blue believers going home with some power cells in their pockets. And Luke very happy with that one. Getting out of the demotion zone. Yep, and Andrew jumping up into first place by three points on that tiebreaker. So very close on both ends. Dylan now in the hot seat with two matches to play. And he's with Luke on the next match. So this is a must win for Dylan. If Blue doesn't take this one, Dylan will be demoted. Rob also in the hunt for the first seed. Space, I think, can still get it. Yeah. Also, can. Andrew, 83 contribution, passing Josh for this match. Very impressive. All right, prediction up for the second last match of the day. Give you guys a few seconds to get in your power cells. You gotta say, Division 3 has been very impressive. Oh, for sure. You can't really tell that they, you know, I think you could put pretty much any one of these guys into Division 1 and they would, you know, hang with the best. So, Division 3, very, very strong. Just makes me, uh, even more interested to see what happens with Division 2 as well, because they're also going to be very strong. All right, here we go. Final predictions locked. As we see a huge volley of cargo here for the Blue Alliance. Red Alliance. Blue with three bounce backs, too. If they can yep. capitalize, it be a huge so they're One of them missed, though. It is going to be close. I think it's very, very close. Holy moly. Ooh, barely just making those shots is Dylan. Off the rim and in. Only a two-point match. And everything on the line for pretty much all these players, especially Dylan, must win situation to not demote. 
he, Andrew, and Rob are going to look for the W, but that's a possession foul. Four points going to the Red Alliance, holding on to that, trying to get the right angle from Dylan, but uh, just didn't release quick enough. But Blue has already brought it back through some defense and some of the slower cycles from the Red Alliance. You got to say, without that foul, they might have been ahead even more. Andrew and Luke locked up together. Still a cargo inside Andrew's robot and Luke. Both of them are going to shoot one off. 100 to 98. This Red Alliance has a bit of an edge. One minute to play. And Luke playing aggressive defense once again. Finds a, some room. Gets some shots off. Big bump on Josh. Josh misses one. Andrew looking for another cargo. Going to throw one up. Bit ball start for the Blue Alliance now. As Red starting to pull away by about 10 points. Every, every cargo counts here. 26 seconds. Got to think about climbs now. Going to try and push it as late as they can. We'll see who decides to shoot till the end. Red's, red and blue both still staying. Now they're going. Red with a bit of an advantage, but only two points. Dylan, if he can find these two shots, both of them make it, so now they're ahead. But another two shots for the Red Alliance. Low climb, not enough, and the double traversal on red is going to seal the deal for the Red Alliance. And unfortunately, that does mean that Dylan will be demoting. One thing that I'm really finding interesting is how late that they are pushing it for the climbs. In Division 1, since uh, many drones were actually in Division, that was delegated to them, and the uh, FRC shooters climbed much, much sooner, uh, trusting in the mini drones to get the scores up and to hopefully climb at the end. But we're not seeing that here since we don't have any of them. So I'm wondering how the delegation for climbing is since every single person can potentially climb to traversal. Yeah, it's a complicated situation for sure. Definitely making the difference in a lot of matches where they just don't quite have enough time to get all the way up. And that was... Definitely a thing for this match as well. One match to go. Prediction up. The battle for first is now just between Josh and Andrew, our number one and number two seeds. Andrew needs a win by... Uh, 15. To promote into Div 2. Space and Rob cannot get first. However, they could pass Josh in theory. So yeah, we're just fighting fighting it out for whoever gets to promote. Andrew has to win by how much? Uh, 15. 15. There you go. 15 points, he's in. 14 points, he's out. Looks like everybody is pretty much ready. Coming down to the wire yet again for who's going to promote. We'd like to see. All right, here we go. Final match of the night. Division 2 spot on the line. And it's all to play for. Lots of cargo going up and in. Blue Alliance with a slight edge. No, Red Alliance with the slight edge. No, Blue Alliance with the slight edge. Back and forth battle in our final match here. 
And it's going to be really about how consistently everybody can pick up these cargo and launch them into the high goal. Big bump there. Rob missing a shot. Red up by two. Blue launching two. Red launching two. Blue launching two. Red launching two. Couple misses for the Red Alliance though. And as you can see on the scoreboard, Blue Alliance up by four now. Very evenly matched. You gotta say their, their cycle times are basically identical so far. But the real difference maker is that shot accuracy. Got to make sure that you make those shots when you shoot it. And now Blue starting to extend their lead. Red's going to bring it back a little bit. Blue trying to respond. Got to take turns. Space and Andrew. The communication between them. And there's a launch pad foul on Dylan. Four points. Big difference maker here for the Blue Alliance. As they're going to extend their lead even further. Now it's looking a little dangerous for the Red Alliance. Red Alliance needs to get something going. 50 seconds to go. 10 point gap. Reminder that that uh, Andrew needs to win by 15. So he's right in that range. Josh just needs to keep it close enough. Even if he loses, it just needs to be close. Great and Red already down. back in. Look at this. Two-point gap now. Space. Early climb. 20 seconds to go. He wants to secure that. Andrew going up. It's going to be Rob to shoot to the end. Blocking Josh from climbing. Luke is not climbing. They have no red robot going for the climb. Rob really slowed them down. Josh is going to come in with five seconds. And it's a drop from Dylan. That might be it. Oh, they're back up. Oh, my goodness. They got back up just in time. But it is not a win. We see a drop from Andrew, looks like, who fell off. What a play from them, but it is not going to be enough to change the outcome of the division. Yeah, that, that drop from Andrew does uh, help solidify Josh staying in first. Even that, though, uh, that was the difference maker. Yep. Wow. So yeah, Josh will be promoting... Uh, six and four all at the top of the division. Yeah, look at that. Very close, what? but... Uh, uh, yeah, wow. Josh... Josh going to move up into division two. Dylan, unfortunately, going to be dropping down to division four, but what a uh, what a great night here for, for division three. Everybody played super, super well. And uh, we're definitely going to have to see how each of these players do in their respective divisions next week. No double Josh in Div 3. True. Both the Joshes promoted. And I think the other Josh, Pongo, demoted. So, that's unfortunate. <laughs> I guess it doesn't like uh, multiple Joshes in the same division. Yeah. That does make it easier for us. Uh, uh, can we get a rigged in chat? Anybody? <laughs> Uh, yep, so that's going to lock in Division 3. Josh going to join up with Division 2. We'll see who uh, makes it out of Division 2 in over the weekend. I think all of our divisions are um, Saturday or Sunday. Mm -hmm. So we're going to have a few days off. But uh, what an exciting set of matches. Um, especially Division 3, I thought was very, very good, very close. Everybody played super, super well. And uh, it's going to be interesting to see what Division 2 can bring. Because uh, as a D D1 player, uh, D3 players are a bit scary. <laughs> For sure. And uh, I, I'm very curious to see what the play is going to be like in Division 2. Because uh, we're going to be seeing one of them firsthand next week. Yeah, exactly. And uh, they're going to have a point to prove for sure. You know, it's not going to be um, not going to be easy. Not going to be straightforward. But yep, that's going to be it for us tonight. So thanks, guys, for tuning in. Hopefully you enjoyed. 
and uh, really appreciate everybody's patience with Division 8 running a little bit late. But uh, yeah, make sure you check us out on the weekend. It's going to be exciting. And um, as for the 12-3, get grinding those single-player scores because invites go out at the end of the month. Only a few weeks to kind of solidify yourself into the top 12. And uh, I got to say, it's going to be a crazy, crazy 12-3. There's going to be lots of great things coming. Bit of a changes, uh, and uh, it's going to be fun. I got to say, there's only three of us above 500, so... Y'all got to get up yeah. there if you want to solidify your chances up here. Right? I, I, I definitely think that the the leaderboard is on the weaker end right now, so there's a lot of opportunity for you to, to climb up. And reminder, it's the overall contra- like overall three robots um, that are going to, to do it. So if you're top 12 in one robot, maybe you say, all right, I'm good with that one for now. Let me grind some other robots. Probably bulldogs because nobody grinds bulldogs. <laughs> for for Evan fifteen thirty three apparently. Yeah, true, true. All right, thanks everybody. Have a great night, and uh, we will see you on the weekend.